As you edit your file, make sure you save different versions of your code so you don't ever lose all of your work all at once. This is especially important while you get used to using the supercomputer, editing files and moving files back and forth between the supercomputer and your home computer. Additionally, if you ever break your code by accident, you always want to be able to revert back to a working version of your code again. A very simple way to do this is to save the first version as something like FDTD or whatever you're calling your code underscore one at the end dot F90. And then after you make a series of edits to it, you can save it as FDTD2 and after that three and so forth. Or instead you can use the date and time that you started working on it or something like that. It's also a good idea to add comments at the beginning of your code, even if they're casual comments to yourself, about what might be different between versions of your code. Now there are much more sophisticated ways of keeping track of different versions of a code, and there are even websites available online where you can organize your codes. For this class, and especially while you get used to using the supercomputer, I might just recommend you come up with a very simple strategy for saving different versions of your code. In the future, it's definitely worth exploring other options. Well, this is probably a good stopping point for today. Next time, we will start editing the file more thoroughly to convert the code fully over to Fortran.